If God is for us, who can be against? If the Spirit of God has set us free, if God is for us, who can be against? If the Spirit of God has set us free. I know that nothing in this world can ever take us from His love. If God is for us, who can be against? If the Spirit of God has set us free, if God is for us, who can be against? If the Spirit of God has set us free, In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, as we participate in this holy Eucharistic celebration, let us pause for a while and feel sorry for all the sins we committed, and ask God pardon and mercy. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, and to you my, my brothers and sisters, sisters, sisters that I that have greatly sinned, sinned in my, in my thoughts, thoughts and in my words in what I in have done, done and, and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my most fault, through my most grievous fault, fault. therefore I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, Virgin all, the all the angels and saints, saints and you, and you, my brothers and sisters, sisters to, to pray, pray for me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to our lasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on and earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. Good will. We, we praise you. you. We bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to, the, to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second book of Kings. One day Elijah came to Shunem, where there was a woman of influence who urged him to dine with her. Afterward, whenever he passed by, he used to stop there to dine. So she said to her husband, I know that Elijah is a holy man of God. Since he visits us often, let us arrange a little room on the roof and furnish it for him with a bed, table, chair, and lamp, so that when he comes to us, he can stay there. Some time later, 
Elijah arrived and stayed in the room overnight. Later, Elijah asked, can something be done for her? His servant Gehazi answered, yes, she has no son and her husband is getting on in years. Elijah said, call her. When the woman had been called and stood at the door, Elijah promised, this time next year, you will be fondling a baby son. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The promise of, of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations, my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever. In heaven, you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever, forever I, will I will sing the goodness, goodness of the Lord. Bless the people who know the joyful shout. In the light of your countenance, O Lord, they walk. At your name they rejoice all day, and through your just, justice they are exalted. Forever, forever I will sing, sing the goodness, goodness of the Lord. Lord. You are the splendor of their strength, and by your favor our horn is exalted. For the Lord belongs our shield, and to the Holy One of Israel our King. Forever Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. As to his death, he died to sin once and for all. As to his life, he lives for God. Consequently, you too must think of yourselves as dead to sin and living for God in Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. You are a chosen race. A royal priesthood, a holy nation. Announce the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Alleluia, Alleluia. with you and And with your your spirit spirit. a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory Glory to you lord Lord. jesus said to his apostles whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me and whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me and whoever does not take up his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me whoever finds his life will lose it and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. Whoever receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever receives a righteous man because he is a righteous man will receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever gives only a cup of cold water to one of these little ones to drink because the little one is a disciple. Amen, I say to you, he will surely not lose his reward. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. Today, we've got some interesting readings from the Old Testament once again. 
Rose read to us from 2 Kings chapter 4 and from uh, Psalm 89. Now, it's really interesting the way these are put together and how we're supposed to work with them. Chapter 4 from 2 Kings is an interesting story. Well, it's four little stories that are feel-good stories, stories that start off with some kind of a conflict and then a wonderful resolution. Doesn't always work out that way in life, but it's a feel-good chapter. And then we heard from Psalm 89. Now here's where we've got to be careful because the, the part that we read, now look, there are 53 verses in Psalm 89. We read six of them. The six that were cherry-picked when the psalmist is talking about the faithfulness of God to his covenant, the love of God that, that stands all the time, the faithfulness that God was going to show toward David and all of his descendants. And that's where it breaks down because Psalm 89 is not a celebration of the Lord's faithfulness. It's a, a lament, if I can use that word. It's a cry out to the Lord wanting to know where did your faithfulness go? What we listened, read to us, was the psalmist reminding God of what God had promised, but now doesn't seem to be in effect. L listen to a little bit further down here in Psalm 89, going down to verse 39. But now you have rejected and spurned and been enraged at your anointed. You renounced the covenant with your servant. Whoa, all of a sudden, that's entirely different. Now, you might remember, last week we read from Jeremiah, and Jeremiah was warning the people that you have sown the seeds of your own destruction by how you're acting. And what were they doing? If you remember, it was all the forms of idolatry. Or to put it another way, in the words of 2 Kings and Psalm 89, you are violating the covenant with God. It's not that God had violated the covenant, the people had. And what Jeremiah had warned them was going to come about has now come about. They've been defeated, they've been carried away in exile, their leaders taken, the city of Jerusalem destroyed, and they want to say, God abandoned us. Wait a minute. No, it's the other way around the other way around. Now here's where Psalm 89 gets interesting and where you can use it really beautifully. Although the cry is there that, Lord, you have abandoned us. What Psalm 89 does, if you read it carefully, and you've got to go back and read the whole thing, okay? Can we get that straight? Always having to say that. Read the whole thing. All 53 verses. And what the psalmist did was take the eternal faithfulness of God and put it into the foreverness of his rule. And that includes ruling over the times when humans would turn and walk away from the covenant. The covenant is still there. The faithfulness of God is still there. But the people turned and walked away from the covenant but the covenant was still there. What Psalm 89 lets us see, it starts off with forevers, and that's what it's talking about, that the love of God, the faithfulness of God is forever, all right? Even when we walk away for a while, there's the point. In our own day, I don't know, maybe we'd want to, well, what would we say? Could we blame God for all the violence that we're experiencing today? in our society here in the United States? No, that's because of the inequality we let grow up in our systems. We're trying to struggle through a coronavirus, right? Did God send that? No. Maybe one day science will be able to determine just where this little germ originated, but we know how it spread in the way that we live and the things that we do is spread. It, it, it's ourselves. And this is what Psalm 89 sings about and blesses that even in times like this, the covenant is still there. It's a forever, it's an everlasting thing. Beautiful psalm, beautiful readings.
Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate with the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We, may, we take the opportunity now to pray for our needs and for all those in need, trusting in the everlasting goodness of the Lord. For the Church, that we may always be willing to take up our cross and follow the Lord no matter the cost. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who provide leadership in government, in the workplace, and in the family, that they may shepherd their people along right paths and treat with compassion all who struggle or stray. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those most affected by global warming, those without the resources or ability to overcome the effects of natural disasters, and environmental repercussions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those anticipating the birth or adoption of a child, that they may know God's blessings in welcoming a new member to their family. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all of us, that we may grow in willingness to offer hospitality to those in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer for all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions spoken and unspoken. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Loving God, we sing of your goodness as we bring these needs before you. Listen to our prayers and grant them according to your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Make me a channel of your peace Where there is hatred, let me bring your love Where there is injury, your pardon, Lord And where there's doubt, true faith in Make me a channel of your peace Where there's despair in life, let me bring hope Where there is darkness, only light And where there's sadness, ever joy Oh, Master, grant that I may never see So much to be consoled as to console To be understood as to understand To be loved as to love with all my soul Make 
me a channel of your peace. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. In giving of ourselves that we receive And in dying that we're born to eternal life Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the, the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise, for the praise and, glory and glory of his name. name. For our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who graciously accomplish the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth, he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering, cancelled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in our presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Anthony, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we too be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, your thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. Against us. And lead, lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the, the power, power, and the glory are yours, yours now, and, now forever. and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Your spirit. Lamb of God, you take Amen. away the Amen. sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not, not worthy, worthy that you should, you should enter, enter under my roof. roof. But only, but only say, say the, the word, word and my, my soul, soul shall be healed. healed. Will you come and follow me if I but call your name? Will you go where you don't know and never be the same? Will you let my love be shown? 
Will you let my name be known? Will you let my life be grown in you and you in me? Will you leave yourself behind if I but call your name? Will you care for cruel and kind and never be the same? Will you risk the hostile stare should your life attract or scare? Will you let me answer prayer in you and you in? Will you let the blinded see if I but call your name? Will you set the prisoners free and never be the same? Will you kiss the leper clean and do such as this unseen and admit to what I mean in you and you in? Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that, bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your, with spirit. your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Whatsoever you do to the least of my people, that you do unto me. When I was hungry, you gave me to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me to drink. Now enter into the home of my Father. Whatsoever you do, to the least of my people that you do unto me.